Okay, dirty trucking, dirty trucking. Ah, uh, sitting out here on Michigan Steel, the truck's still in the region. I uh, don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna kind of zoom in and see if you can see the, you can kind of see the smoke fumes coming from under the truck out here on the cement and this this wall by the brick building here. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can, uh, I can uh, zoom in so you can see it. I'm gonna flip it around and zoom in. You can see the, the smoke. The heat that's coming from under the truck, the heat waves in the wall net here. You see them? See the heat waves? That's from the truck doing the regen. That's all that heat up under the truck trying to burn that damn soot off of there. You can see it better on the seat on the ground. I'm sitting here watching the waves go up the wall and on the ground. Oh shit. Excuse me, I thought I cut the video off. That's why you hear me say, oh shit. But anyway, dirty truck is still sitting here. I don't have my McDonald's. I'm sipping on my leftover coffee. Uh, I'm show you my status. When I'm broke down, I always put the, bro the proper uh, stuff on our little tablet. See, we work with, with tablets here, so uh, I got broke down on there. So so they won't think I'm just uh, out here just doing nothing, but like I said, when Dirty Trucking knows she about to experience a breakdown, I try not to break down on the side of the highway. That'll be your worst nightmare, especially if you're a trucker. See, that's why when you're a trucker over the road, and you can't foresee what's gonna happen, you know, mechanical issues do happen. You know, and they happen out of the blue, they do happen. And if you have a sleeper truck, Mine was fully loaded. The one I had, all of mine was they was loaded. Uh, my black Kenworth had a fridge fully loaded, baddest truck I ever had. And I hate they sabotaged that truck, tried to get rid of it. And I cried when I let that truck go. I made a video of me crying in the back of that damn truck. I kid you not. The day I left that truck at the dealership, I got a video of me crying, bawling tears. Just ah man, I think let's not get that bawling. I cried. I was hugging my damn big daddy. I called that truck Big Daddy. That was my truck, my baby. I loved it. I had everybody calling that truck Bobby. They used to call me and ask me, how Big Daddy doing? Shoot, they didn't see that. That was my truck, Big Daddy. And I hate I had to get rid of that truck because of that sabotage and that little shit they were doing with the repairs. But uh, like I said, the OTR, uh, even if you don't have a fridge, in the wintertime, you know, you can make do up under that sleeper berth. The, 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 keep it clean up under there the way you can store some stuff like little canned goods. You can keep your pop cold, your bottled water. That's why I used to love the winter time. You don't need no refrigerator in the winter time. You take that, that pack of water, stick it up under your sleeper berth, and that, that cold from up under there, keep it cool. You can pull it out and shit like you had in the refrigerator. Your pops, everything. That, that's for when I had trucks that didn't have no refrigerator. But my black Kenworth had a refrigerator. And then, um, uh, Keep you some canned goods, some vainas, some sausages, you know, uh, some uh, sardines, something you can, uh, or even those little prepared meals that's on the shelf, those complete meals. Keep a couple of those on the shelf. I mean, back there in your sleeper berth, something that you can eat on just in case you do have a breakdown, some some crackers, some snack stuff, stuff that, uh, you know, you ain't got to worry about uh, perishing if, if, if it's on the truck for a minute for a length of time. So keep you something, make keep you some, get you some water, and um, make sure you keep all your, your 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 toiletries and everything out there, just in case you broke down somewhere and they, you, you you gotta make a bathroom. I've had to do that. You know what I mean? Brand new good towels. I ruined shit. I done ruined a few of them. Shit. I'm like fuck it. I say it's a nice towel, but your ass got to go. Shit. I got to use you right now. So, but uh, it's best to have you something out there just in case. But uh. When I'm experiencing breakdown, I try to find me the nearest place. If I can't find somewhere to, to get the truck repaired to pull into a uh, truck stop somewhere so I can get some assistance to get about get the truck fixed. Somebody get to me. But uh, I try to avoid breaking down on the side of the highway. But sometimes it's not avoidable, because especially if you have a blowout or something like that, and, you, and you're on the highway, I mean, you're just gonna be broke down right there. But if I know the truck is about to have a mechanical issue like this depth issue here, uh, once I start noticing that, seeing that, uh, I start making plans to find me the nearest truck stop because I know, especially if I know it's going to be something serious and get my ass off the road. So if I do be broke down, I'm not somewhere stranded on the highway without access to nothing to eat, nothing like that, or no no bathroom, no nothing. Because that, that's a miserable feeling being out there sitting on the side of the highway for hours waiting for somebody to come repair you. But uh, see, 
and I'm still in the regen. Uh, this regen started around, I think it was around about 8.30. I think 8.30, maybe 8.40. It's now 9.16, and it's still in the regen. I um, hope I'm not here till lunchtime. I don't know how long it took the last time because when I initiated the regen the last time, I dropped the truck and actually swapped trucks. And when I came back, it was completed. So I don't know how long that actually took. So, but like I said, I bought my McDonald's and also, hey, you I don't eat lunch when I'm at work. I really don't. But hey, I'm somewhere where I'm good. Church Chicken right there. We got the Jordan family, Coney Island right there. And like I said, my McDonald's that's behind me. You know, you know, I got a little scenery. I get to watch the cars and shit go by. The city bus go by. You know. You got a little scenery right here, sitting right here on the side. So uh dirty truck is still in the midst of her region. Uh I'm probably about 30 minutes into it now. 25 to 30 minutes into it, it's still going, so. And the only thing about the region, now with my truck, my Kenworth, my Kenworth had a serious region issue and it was burning out my fuel. I had a full tank of fuel when my region kicked in, when I had to do a region. And my region was getting so bad, it actually shut me down off the side of the highway, on an off ramp. The longest region I had ever with that truck took, uh, I think it was eight hours, it shut me down in Alabama on an off ramp. I ended up going to sleep, it was still in the region. I woke up two hours before my 10 hour break was up. And just after I got up and my break was almost up, the regen completed. And my fuel was damn near gone. That's the only thing about these regens, they burn your fuel out. You gotta make sure you got fuel. And if now, if you got a newer truck, it shouldn't burn it that much. It shouldn't, but mine was having excessive regen and problems at Kenworth. That was some sabotage shit. And I don't know why they would do that, but I know why they would do that. Because they want the money. That's all it was about. Causing some type of deliberate damage to get me to pay out money. And that's what it was. And they got a lot of money out of me. My maintenance bill was hefty. Every truck I get, like I said, same thing. So this dirty truck, and I'm still sitting out here on the streets of Detroit on Michigan Avenue here. Uh... Waiting for this regen to complete. I'm like 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes in now. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna be for it complete. So, and that's the only thing about a regen. You can't do nothing until it to complete. So, uh, and don't try to stop it, let it complete. Because if you stop it, it's gonna cause more problems. Just, just, just let it complete. But now, if it's lengthy for some hours, and it, it shouldn't be doing that. It shouldn't be. Shit, I done had to stop it because it done went in hours and burning out my damn fuel. I had to get that truck somewhere to get that shit looked at. But I done went from dealership to dealership with my Kenworth. I was at dealership in Maryland, Virginia, um, here in Detroit. Uh, several dealerships about that damn uh, death shit. And to the government, the people that regulate these damn trucks, you need to get rid of that DEF. That's some horrible shit. And you see what the truck sitting here trying to burn that soot off from that shit, that DPL filter. That's the most horrible shit you could ever uh, create it to put in a truck. Why in the hell would you want to run cow piss mixed with water through a truck? Why? That shit has caused more problems it costs companies and independent contractors, lease purchase drivers, more money trying to get that shit fixed. Loss of trucks, downing of trucks, getting rid of trucks because they don't want to deal with that shit. That shit is a costly bill. And I think you knew what you were doing when you put that, made that mandatory to be put on these damn trucks. It was another way to generate money. It was a costly problem. That's some bad shit. The shit stank. I hate the shit. I don't even know why we have to put that shit in these trucks. I wish you'd get rid of it. You need to get rid of it. You need to be managed. Get rid of it. Because that stuff is fucking up the trucks. It's dirty trucking. Sitting here on the side of the highway because of some death going on issues with my truck. Sitting here wasting time burning fuel. Now we're going to have to replace the fuel that burn off. See, that death issue causes more problems than good. Because when your truck starts 
breaking down from it, it's a costly bill, a repetitive costly bill. You, you losing fuel when it's trying to burn that soot off. Now that's a fuel bill. That shit is nothing but money. Get rid of it because I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of seeing that death shit on my truck. I'm tired of it popping up on my truck. I'm tired of every truck I get to, that shit pops up on my truck. Stop the games with the shit in my trucks. I'm tired of sitting on the side of the highway. Well, this dirty truck is still sitting here. Ain't got nothing to do but make videos freely. Uh, sorry, I haven't been making no videos. I'm dealing with some other issues uh, prior to that. Uh, so I had to... Uh, wasn't nothing really, really wrong. It's just some issues I was dealing with. I just didn't get around to making no videos. Plus, I was tired because I started coming here at 5 o'clock, which I didn't mean to do. Uh, and I had to go on back to my uh, catch my bus because I'm putting myself in jeopardy coming here at 5 o'clock because when I catch the bus, there is no bus to get me down to the job. So I'm walking two miles down the, the road in the dark at 4 something in the morning. But I've done it for a whole year, so I'm used to it. But plus, I get some exercise in. But I don't think I'm planning on doing that for forever. I just finished this week out because I'd already started. And plus, once you start exercise, it's kind of hard for me to stop. So, uh, I don't know if I keep that up, but I don't think I am. So, because I'm still getting off. Even I got off early yesterday, but because of the bus, I'm still standing out there damn near to the time I normally get off. So, I said, why am I coming here early? See, the only thing that causes, I'm coming here early and I'm here all day. Getting off at the same time. When I was coming here later, getting off at my same time and I was getting it done later. But now I'm here early, coming in here, now I'm all day, now the truck is experiencing mechanical issues, now I'm wasting more hours coming in here earlier. So, like I say, I put myself in danger of getting out here because I catch the bus, I walks, and I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't no stranger to public transportation, I ain't got to have no vehicle. I do what I do to get to work. People like to make jokes, talk shit about people catching the bus, I catch the bus, because I used to drive the bus. And I got to work the whole year at that job, catching the bus, walking down the street. I came to work in a blizzard walking while the rest of them that had cars didn't even show up. Yeah, I did that, dirty trucking did. Catching the bus, walk through a blizzard to get to work. The rest of them stayed on to the blizzard subsided and then they came on in hours later. I was there during the blizzard. So dirty don't know where to stop dirty trucking. Uh, you can talk about me driving wide in the bus all you want to. I got to work a whole year on the bus. And it wasn't until I moved the reason why I had a problem getting to work at that time. Because now I'm in a different location. I got to walk from somewhere else to get to the bus. And then after I get to the bus and get off the bus, I got to walk back down to the job. So I'm kind of putting myself in danger coming at the time, coming outside at the time I'm coming to just to get to this job because I don't have transportation. And I don't know when I'm gonna get transportation. Uh, I'm really not in no hurry to get transportation because I really don't go nowhere. My area I'm in is from downtown to work, that's it. And everywhere else is bus route. So I'm not really in no hurry to get no damn car. It's nice to have, but I'm really not gonna be going nowhere with it. So it's because everywhere I go is in bus distance or walking distance. So this dirty truck is still sitting here. Waiting on this regen to quit, uh, go ahead and complete. It's 924, so I don't know how long it's gonna take, so. And that's the only thing about these damn regens, and if the soot level that high, it, this ain't gonna be no quick regen, so. So I already know it's gonna be 30 minutes or longer. So, I'm estimating an hour. I hope it's not an hour, but I, I'm, I'm looking at a good hour. So, dirty truck will be sitting here, but like I said, these are in a good location, eh? Hey, I got everything in my grasp right here so that the truck is sitting here waiting for this regen to complete y'all be safe out there on that highway peace out